What is going on today guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here coming at you guys with a different video of sorts. So today I will be talking about G-Assist and striding and maybe deleting if I really feel like it but probably not since everybody should know what that does by now. Uh, so G-Assist and striding. Striding is the new mechanic where you have extra deck cards. So there's uh, six, eight, eight of them. No, I don't think I have eight there. Eight. So you have eight cards in your extra deck and you can tell which ones they are because they will have a different uh, backing as compared to the Vanguard logo sleeves. So they will not have this backing but a different one that will be silver colored. So you will be able to tell when you have a GSS plus they will not have a clan. They will have a blank empty spot where the clan is. So instead of having words here, they will, it will be blank and no color. So they're like Cray Elementals or something like that. So the G, they, those G car, those G units are in the um, generation zone, which is like the extra zone above the damage zone for traditional like official tournament play, but you can probably place it anywhere. It's just an extra deck if you know Yu-Gi-Oh or anything guys. Um, so that's something. And what it does is that it gives you an extra deck basically. And it gives you really powerful cards if you've seen Neon Messiah and the such. But basically, the game doesn't do anything different. It's just like ride, 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 break, ride, legion, whatever, whatever the sort. And then eventually, you're at some point like this. So, the requirements for generation for striding are that certain requirements have to be met, and those requirements are that your both opponents have to have at least a grade three vanguard, and then you have to have at least, um, well. A generation like something here and then you also have to have a hand because the requirements for your striding are that you have to are that like the secondary requirement is that you have to have cards in your hand to discard to give the sum of a grade three or greater which means that you have to be discard up to your levels to make a grade three so if you have a grade three in hand you can discard a grade three to stride into something if you don't have a grade three, but you have grade twos, you can add two grade twos and the such. And you get the point, guys. You can like go, you can add grade zeros if you want, but I really, I don't suggest it unless if you plan on like legioning next turn, but you might die because you've discarded the grade zeros. And yeah, so then what happens is that this card gets placed on top. You cannot check because all these cards are face down. You cannot check what they are. You can just basically just flip it over and then place it there. So I think that that's how it works. Um, that mechanic has yet to be revealed, but everything else has been officially revealed. That is one thing that I'm not sure of, but I'm pretty sure you can just set it up before like the order of your your generation zone, so you know. And what happens is that the card comes out, that's your new Vanguard, but also it, the Vanguard that was previously there becomes your heart of the, the heart, so instead of the soul, but the heart of your Vanguard. So. Your Vanguard becomes, say, if we use Neon Messiah, Neon Messiah with Rias. So the names, but they have both two names because you get to choose your target. So you could choose either this one or this one, but I would probably pick this one because of power. So it's Rias, Neon plus Neon, Neon Messiah, and it also gains the power of the card you choose. So 11k plus 16 gives you 27, and it's a Neon Messiah plus Rias. But it does not activate with Legion because you have to choose a target. So you cannot pick the Legion mate. I mean, you can't pick the Legion as a whole as your Vanguard. You can only pick one of the mates. And also this striding does not activate uh, brick riding. So brick ride will not activate. And that is something. And you for if you just like one like that, then it's basically like this. But then at the end of the turn, this card goes flipped back face up. It goes to the outside of the generation zone and it becomes your and it becomes your, um, it cannot be used anymore because it's face up. That means that it indicates that it has been used and you can no longer use this card. So you have a limited supply and that is what happens. So striding, pretty powerful. It gives you triple drive, really powerful effect and it gives you an extra deck which gives you extra cards and the thing. Now about G-Assist, um, G-Assist is another mechanic that prevents grade locking which is really helpful, but it also minuses in a way because grid locking is pretty bad and they still want the person who had a beneficial hand to still come out on top in a way. So uh, G-Assist is that you can't, is that say you have a grade two and your opponent is a grade higher than you, you can choose to, 
you can, one second, if you're grid locked, then you can choose to, the requirements are that you have to have at least two cards in hand, then you have to have at least two cards in your generation zone. What you do is that you show your opponent your entire hand, you show them that you don't have a grade higher than the current grade that you have, so grade two, you check the top five cards of your deck, so one, two, three, four, five, let's just take these, and if there happens to be a grade through a superior grade on this, then this, you can add it to your hand, but then afterwards you remove from play, so you're banishing in a sense, if you know Yu-Gi-Oh terms, two from your generation zone and two cards from your hand. So what, the, and then you proceed to ride because this uh, geoassisting happens after the draw phase and before the ride phase. Now, what happens here is that you, Disc you have to banish these four cards, so you're minusing by quite a bit, but it's also to help prevent Legion from uh, getting fuel because it could, if you were to discard these cards, then it would give two cards for Legion. But because you don't, they're banishing, so it still minuses and you can't plus off with a Legion, which is really a smart Ibushi Road and um, it's really a good tactical move, but it helps with uh, prevention of grade lock. That is pretty much it. Um, there's not much more to say because after that you can just start attacking and everything. Once you're grade 3, it's pretty much all you need. But you must show your opponent your entire hand and you cannot have a grade greater than that. So if you're playing, say, Omega Glendios and you're stuck, you don't have a grade 2 because they run very minimal grade 2s, but you have a lot of grade 3s, this will not, this GSS will not help you in the slightest because of that. Because you have so many grade 3s of the superior grade, but you're just missing a grade 2. You can't, so basically what I'm saying is that you can't have a grade that's greater than your current Vanguard, which is, which is really smart because they don't want, uh, I guess, Glandios decks and all that to like kill the meta or anything because G Assist is good, but you don't want to break the meta with that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it was something different that you appreciated and um yeah so stay tuned for more videos guys um more cardfight vanguard stuff and waste stuff to come out and i think we might have another episode of card taku coming at some point i don't know about that but it will come out at some point and yeah so guys uh, this has been tony from team divine pro signing off bye